there is no one here, so I should be really careful. Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest country and the only country that lies entirely in the Alps. One of the best ways to see the whole country is to take the Liechtenstein panoramic route, which is also known as Route 66. This is what I'm going to do in this video. I will start from Planke in the north and end my hike in Melbourne in the south of the country. Good morning from Vaduz in Liechtenstein. Actually, I arrived yesterday and I stay in this hotel in the town center. But today I'm going to leave for the hike. And since morning is pouring rain, uh, the rain just slowed down now. And I'm going to be in the mountain for four days. But I need to get the bus and then another bus to start the hike. Everything I need is in this backpack for four days. The thing is, the public transport here is great and actually the buses all are on time. So it's easy to go around without a car. So now I am in the second bus and on one way. The bus dropped me here. In this village is Planken and I should try to find my trail and <laughs> literally the rain started. This is a very beautiful village and very peaceful. There is no one here and it's Monday. Let's get going and I should find my trail soon. Basically, I'm going here and I'm going to spend the night in a hut. The first part of the hike was through the residential area. Later, when I was in the wood, it was easier because I kind of had the shelter. The rain was too much and now I don't know if it's raining or not. The tree covers the path, so I'm not getting wet. This is the first day of my multi-day hike. So it's an easy one. I don't have to hike for a long time. It's four to five kilometers and it shouldn't take long. Now the rain is stopped. It's foggy. I don't know if the clouds are coming down or I'm climbing up. Since I started the hike, I haven't seen a single soul. It feels so weird to be alone. It's just like there is no one here, just me. This is my first time doing something like that. I have never done a multi-day hike and I have never been alone on a hike. So it's a different experience for me. Since it's been raining for a while and I've seen so many snails on the way. And this one is moving very slow. I can hear the sound of bells, but I don't see anything around me. Could be cows, sheep, or even goat. Until here, I couldn't see a thing. Literally, I didn't have any view. It was just cloud. And now I can see the clouds just clear up a bit. So the view, oh my God. I was down there and now I'm here. This 
part of the hike is a bit slippery and steep and I am in a cow field and I can see them now they are not far from me I think I can see the hut is not far anymore and it's just a short walk and I'm early it's around 1.30 so but anyway the check-in is at 3 I should be fine <laughs> This hut is offering also great view and I couldn't see it because the cloud covered everything and it was foggy but now the sun is out is literally everything is stunning it's just so calm so peaceful I have the whole afternoon and whole evening to myself to write my journal and maybe it's going to be a book who knows Let's see how it goes. I think I arrived quite early and I checked in and this is my bed. I'm sleeping here. It's good. It's clean. And I don't know how many people are going to be here tonight, but I think it's Monday usually during the weekend is busy and you have to book in advance if you want to come here during the weekend. Anyway, I booked in advance because there are not so many places that you can stay here and wild camping is illegal in this country. Good morning. Last night for the first time I slept in a dormitory. It wasn't that bad, someone was snoring. We went to bed really early around 9.30 p.m. And then I woke up around 11.30 and then I couldn't sleep. Someone was snoring, the cows bell and everything. <laughs> it took me a while, around 2 a.m. I think I fell asleep and I woke up at 6 and had breakfast and ready to start the day. Today I have a longer hike and it's actually going to be six hours but because I film usually takes longer and I have uh, the first part I have to go up to the mountain and it's the difficult part of my whole hike so wish me luck surprisingly the hut was very clean and we had dinner and breakfast there and I had to pay 83 francs, Swiss francs. When you go for a multi-day hike, and it means that you have to carry all of your stuff by yourself, could be clothes, could be food. Luckily, I stay in the huts and hotels, but during the day, there is nothing. So I carry some snack. So the weight of your backpack counts and you should literally watch out. So today I have a longer hike so I have more water, almost one liter of water and my backpack feels heavier of course. The whole hike is pretty steep but I don't want to rush it because what is the point of rushing it when you are in nature you just want to calm down a bit because in daily life we always rush things we have a lot of things to do so the whole point of this hike is about slowing down and just be present so I'm not rushing it and luckily it's not raining and it's really pleasant weather 
it's not hot it's refreshing and the view here is just gorgeous I actually arrived here at the top and but this was just the first part of my hike. The rest is more challenging than this one but let's just take all in here and just chill down and sit and enjoy the view. This side of the hike, I need to use the rope because it's very narrow. So, the weather keeps changing, and now it's so foggy. And this part is hard because it's mostly vertical and I have a ladder to climb ah, with the heavy backpack. <laughs> I was at the summit and now I am descending to go to Bonburn. At some point I couldn't see anything, I couldn't find a path and because it was so foggy and I was at the summit and I sat down for five minutes and then I put my backpack and just walk around and could find it. I know that for sure that I'm in the right path which is good, I don't want to get back. For this hike, I had to climb some time and I had to use my hands a lot of time to grab rocks or just climb the ladder or also the rope. And I wish I had gloves. I didn't bring any gloves. But if you watch this video and you decided you want to do the same hike, so bring gloves. And the ladder was so cold and I had to grab it. So it's more comfortable if you have gloves. I reach a fork, I don't need a map because it's well signed, so I have to go on the right side. Actually, the climbing is not over. I finished uh, the first part and then I had to descend and now again I'm climbing and I'm going to the highest point of my hike, which is more than 2,100 meters. So, it's all climbing and you can see sometimes I have to use my hand. I'm at the second summit and I was supposed to have a great view but as you can see I can't see a thing. Honestly, I just needed to wait a couple of minutes, not so long, and now I have a great view. From here, I can see the other peak that I summited earlier, 
and all the way I came here and this summit is not the highest one actually I have to go to the other one and I can see the other one too and I have more climbing You see the path here? This is the path to the highest peak on my trail. So after that, I think it should be easier. This one says 1,983 meters, but the one I told I'm submitting is, it should be more than 2,000. So it means this is not the highest one. Still I have. Long way to go. I found all the details about this hike on a blog. It is called uh, Moon Honey Travel. I think there are a couple and they actually put a lot of effort and they hike this trail and there are a lot of details on that. So I'm following their steps actually. I'm officially at the highest point in my hike. It wasn't easy, but oh my god, the path I'm taking now looks a bit scary. Let me show you. As I mentioned earlier, this is the first time I'm hiking alone and I'm doing it in a multi-day and so I've traveled alone um, a lot of time but this is very new and I know that when I'm alone I should be more careful especially in this trail there is no one and since the whole morning and now is around 3 30 p.m. I've seen just a couple of groups that's it and there is no one here so I should be really careful I am at the last leg of today's hike and the last part it was very daunting descending because i was physically and mentally tired my legs were tired so i was like oh my god it was a bit more challenging than when i started usually descending is more challenging in general so now I don't think I'm going to ascend. I am following the 66 route and then I have to take a bus and go to my hotel. And I'm looking forward to that. I cannot wait for that. Good morning, it's the day three. And last night I stay in this beautiful hotel and it was comfortable. I didn't see a single staff because everything was automatic. I checked in automatically on my phone and actually I didn't have a key. Uh, I didn't need a key. It was everything on the app. So now I just checked out. I'm going to take a bus to go where I left yesterday. But today I'm going to change the plan because it was raining the whole night and today is going to rain. The initial plan was to go on the higher route, but I'm going to take a different route. Let's go and see how is the situation. Okay, now I am here exactly where I left the train yesterday. It's not raining now, but I know that it's going to rain, so I'm not going to the higher uh, route and I'm going to find the lower route this is just the beginning of my hike and I'm welcome with this beautiful view 
oh god so gorgeous and i'm going to hike next to this stream it's amazing it's gorgeous the color of water this is the sign i have to follow and actually tonight i'm going to stay in that house While yesterday hike was very challenging, today's hike is a bit more relaxing and I needed that. My legs were tired and also it's sometimes good to be in nature, not thinking about like how I'm going to survive. But here it's just like I don't think about the next step, the path is kind of flat and I just can relax and be calm. I can't believe that what I found here. <laughs> Highland cows. We went to Scotland in search of Highland cows and if you haven't watched that video, who watch it here. But now, I didn't expect to see them here. They're here. Oh my God, they are the cutest. <laughs> Now I started going up here, it started raining uh, there is no shelter so I don't have any other option so I have to keep moving anyway I don't know when the rain is going to stop so I can't waste my time This trail is actually one of the popular trails in Liechtenstein, but I haven't seen a single soul here. But guess what? I, I can see snow. Sometimes the path is actually hidden and I'm not sure that if I'm in the right way or not but when I see that flag like white and red one I know that I, this is the path if you haven't hiked in the Alps usually that uh, sign is for hiking path I can see the heart from here uh, it was a long way so but it was so relaxing because I could sit down and just have a snack or something it wasn't challenging yeah it was really nice And last day of my hike and actually last night I slept in this hut it was so cozy and good I had my own private room which was perfect it was quiet no one was snoring and I could sleep very well actually Linchestan has two huts in general and I slept in both the first one when I stayed uh, the owner couldn't speak English, I couldn't speak German, so the conversation was limited. But here the owner, Rene, is very friendly and talked to uh, all the guests. It's good for gathering, it has a big room, everyone gathers, everyone talks and it was nice. Today hike is not very long and I started with a great view of the mountains and it's very cold here and it is july today i wanted to wake up before the sunrise 
go to the famous spot for sunrise but I've been told that it's not very safe because it's full of snow and the weather wasn't great it was raining the whole night but now the sun is showing up so hopefully the rest of the hike should be dry this part of the trail is covered by snow so I had to go around and it's not very straightforward I mean I know if I fall here nothing happened but I prefer not to Sometimes it's unavoidable, so I have to walk on the snow. I'm sitting here at 2000 16 meter altitude and looking at Melbourne where I will end my hike and I'm like I don't want this hike to end it was so beautiful I loved it <sighs> the weather wasn't very nice so I couldn't really see much and this is supposed to be a panoramic trail but now I can see exactly why it's panoramic. It's everywhere you look, you are surrounded with mountains and you can see the whole country here in this trail. I also met so many amazing people in the heart and I experienced some of the things for the first time and I'm glad I did it. I <laughs> stepped out of my comfort zone and yeah, I learned a lot. And I'm going to do it again, oh my god. I've been hiking for four days and usually I found myself alone on the path. But today I've seen some hikers. I don't know if it's because it's close to Marlborough or it's sunny, but they are mostly locals. And I noticed that a lot of locals here do a lot of outdoor activities like mountain biking, hiking on a daily basis. Finally arrived in Vaduz in my hotel and actually when I arrived in Marlborough it was just 10 minutes before the bus to Vaduz arrived so I didn't stay in Melbourne and just took a bus directly to Vaduz and I'm going to stay in Vaduz in the next video you will see what Linchestan has to offer for now thanks for watching see you in the next video